This video is brought to you by Gunplay SA, South Africa's favorite place for Gunpla, related tools, supplies, resources, community, and so much more. Check out gunplaysa.com. Okay, wow. Hey guys. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Hello, Build Force. Yes. And welcome to another Gunpla SA unboxing video. <laughs> and you guys know how this is gonna work. We're gonna take out a whole bunch of the new stuff and get like super excited. Look at all those boxes. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and my box. And, and we're gonna get super excited about all of this stuff. And then about halfway through the video, three quarters through the video, yeah. while you're watching this, the stuff goes live. Yes. Okay. So that's how we're doing it. Gives everybody a fair chance. You guys can, you know, then you know. Mm -hmm. Sweet. But let's not mess around too much with that. Let's get into some exciting stuff because we got some really in box number one. I think I already shown too much. Box yes. number one. What's that? It's a bigger box. Huh? Oh, MG Sazabi version Katsuki back in stock. Yay, Yay. version K is back in. Mm -hmm. And you know, guys, we don't need to tell you so much. You know, yeah. it's an amazing kit. Next one up. Bit of uh, double O flavor. Seven mm -hmm. sword. And this is great because we haven't had him in a while. So mm. yeah, so it's cool to have. Guys, seven swords actually one of the coolest in my opinion, it's one of the best uh, variations of uh, of the double O. Yeah. And also, really, really, really great bang for your buck. Yeah, because if you lo want lots of uh, weapon equipment, this kit has a lot of it, especially with swords, eh? Yeah, and yeah. it's just a fun build, man. Okay, mm. next oh, one. Sasabi. On the Sasabi train. Real great <laughs> Sasabi, guys. I just want to get in here again. Just look at all of that beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful plastic. In my opinion, this is one of the best kits ever made mm -hmm. by Bandai. And um, it, listen, a lot, of, a lot of people, myself included, reckon this is the best version of the Sasabi. Yeah. But uh, get yourself a Verke and a real grade and let us know. And speaking about, uh, wait, let me see if I can reach for that. There you go. Speaking about Sasabi, oh, you know, yeah. so we've got the master grade, the real grade, and we also have the, the, high the, grade. the first release, which is the high grade, yeah. So yeah. lots of options for you to choose from. High grade is, I, actually I feel like the high grade kind of feels like the uncool kid here. Mm -hmm. But actually to be fair, as a HG, it actually is a really beefy model kit. Mm. Comes Look how with a lot that of boxes. Exactly, yeah. comes with a lot of options. It's got some good finishing um, for its parts. You know, you don't have a lot of holes and things like that, which you can expect from a normal HG. This is a bigger box HG, so you're gonna get more, more quality. But one of the things about this that has a real appeal to it is if there are, like, a lot of guys don't love all the panel lines on like the real grades and master mm -hmm. grades and things like that. So at least with this, you've got a fresh canvas to work on. You can yeah. really get in here and if you can really modify and customize and do a lot of fun stuff with these kits. Um, yeah, guys, and, and it's not, it's an old release, but it doesn't feel old. Yeah. Cool, another one. Uh, because you know we got way too much sasabi happening, we got to <laughs> balance it out with a little high new. Yeah, even though they're not uh, like directly fight each other. No, yeah, no, they because, don't. Yeah, because high new goes up against the nightingale, nightingale, but you know it's Amaro's uh, against Shaw. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So, but uh, still, it poses. It it will look really great if you have an RG sasabi and an RG high new. Mm -hmm. And guys, this kit is amazing. I cannot wait for our Christmas break to actually build mine. <laughs> okay, because I've been, it's been sitting there waiting for me. Cool. Okay, next. What else? Oh, here's a new arrival. Dun -dun 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 -dun. What is this? We've been waiting a while for this, hey? <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> yeah, there the, we go. The angel of death, right? Yep, <laughs> wing zero, okay. Ooh, guys. Actually, the wait, angel of death is this. This right. size, yeah. Well done. But anyway, the wing. This, this guy brings in more destruction in this. So let's just open this bad boy <laughs> up quickly because I know you guys want to see the mm. parts in this. So sexy white plastic wings. Very, very nice. And guys, you might notice I, although you guys can't really see, I'm inspecting the parts a little bit closer than I normally would. Hmm. And that's because this kit, and I'm going to show you guys this in a second. Oh wow, those are water slides. Look yep. at that, show yeah, the water slides. Yeah. The kit and there's a stand. Water. Check it out, there's a stand there as well. Because yeah, guys- Normally flight units, you, um, Bandai is kind enough to include a stand. Exactly. Uh, with the kit. But also guys, let's be fair, Wing Gundam doesn't stand other than on the box art. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you very seldom see, well, 
you either see it kneeling or floating. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, but this kit is uh, it's got EcoPla. Okay, and EcoPla. If you guys are wondering what that is, and you're going to see it on a few more Gundam boxes as you start getting kits and things like that as mm. we go into the future. This is Bandai's uh, initiative where they actually recycle plastic. Yeah. And they've got, um, they've actually, uh, in, in Japan specifically, they've got these bins where you can actually deposit your runners, your used runners. Mm. And yeah, and then that goes into building new kits for the rest of us, yeah, so which is great. So the, yeah, almost nothing goes to waste, huh? Exactly, and it's More really sustainable, eco-friendly. and thank you for that, Bandai. That's yeah, apparently cool. Bandai's got a sustainability uh, thing that they're doing, but uh, yeah, whatever. Hey, listen, I mean, yeah, a lot of the time <laughs> it's just PR spin and mm. whatever. Destiny Gundam Master Grade. Yay, back uh, in stock, right? Yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it kind of came in and left us very quickly. Hmm. So oh, we've got the high new, so go away! High new. Go away, <laughs> high new, we've seen you now. Um, guys, for those of you that love 30 minute missions, we've got more port and overs in. Now yeah, we've got them in stuff. brown, we've got them yep. in, in chocolate flavor. Yeah, there's some yellow ones as well. We've got them in um, custard flavor. I see is that they went off very quickly the last time, is the mobile uh, Oh stuff. yeah, the mobile yeah. stuff, yeah. So we've got them back in stock this time. Yeah, guys, this is like on a whim. I saw these and I, I remember posting them on the on the channel thinking, oh, maybe one of you will get them. Mm. And then these exploded and they're great. Yeah, so these are scale 12144. Allegedly. Mm. <laughs> I think, I feel like they're closer to... Uh, 1 to 100. Look, no, nobody's gonna bring out their rulers to, to be like... And if they do, <laughs> smack them. Because we don't need no rivet counting. Okay. It's supposed to have a little lip to stand, but it doesn't want to stand. It's just being unruly, Jeff. It's being unruly. Uh, we've got pens. Yeah, Ooh, this pens. is something I did want to chat about. Mm-hmm. Um, or we've got some markers. We're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna actually get into that a little bit later. We've got Mr. Turntable. Back in stock, yay. Yeah, these are really cool. Nice presentation. Super, super rad, mm-hmm. especially if you're the kind of builder who likes to show your stuff off on social media. Mm-hmm. To um, take photos, like, what's it? Turntable video? Well, what's, what, round, yeah. what's, it, what's it called? There's a terminology for it, round, roundabout? No, <laughs> I don't know. My, my brain is kind of a You can fight. just TikTok. It's, it's late Friday. <laughs> yeah, you guys can, it, it's your TikTok Gundam turntable. <laughs> um, Seal hey. Novas are back in, in green, mm-hmm. um, and oh, this, this, ooh, this, yeah, this is surprising. So yeah, we, we <laughs> you know, bring in lots of SD kits, and then this is like a BB kit. Uh, essentially just a different tom- terminology, but it's like all these chibi forms. So yeah, this is the Barbatos Lupus and DX. One, and you know what's cool about this? It's not like the EX version that's got lots of holes behind it. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit more managed, but what's that? It's the ship. It's uh, the Isaribi. Yeah. So it looks like a shrimp. And how crazy <laughs> is this? Like the Isaribi can be worn on the like back, back like uh, a backpack. Because yeah. because BB, BB Senshi, yeah. and because they SD. Have, they have more creative freedom. <laughs> and check how cool this um, the head crest is. The yes, that's that's I, huge. Right? I love it. It's so chunk. <laughs> and look at the little sword. Like <laughs> that's all right. Little big sword. Little big sword. <laughs> That's cute, man. And it actually worked out, you know that if you put that with a 144 kit, mm-hmm. it could actually look pretty cool, because it looks like a short version of the of the main sword. Oh, so let's yeah. pop that over there. You can chill there. Seal mm-hmm. Nova's can, let's... Uh, yeah, just uh, let them like, you know... Being Sorry, Seal whatever. Nova, it's not that you're the tree in the school <laughs> play, it's just that we've had you before. Yeah. Oh, guys. Yes, guys. Goof. Goof. Back and in stock. Yes, guys, Revive Goof is one of the coolest HG kits you will ever build. Mm-hmm. It's got like, no seams. <laughs> I love this, it's so great. I actually wanna, it's so nice, I wanna build it twice. That's, <laughs> and lots of extra accessories. Mm. The fingers are actually kind of semi-posable this time round. Very, very good. This is, if, if you love goof, and, you, and you've got a goof custom, and you want the classic goof, here's yeah. your, here's your way. Uh, more oh, DX uh, Bobatos. Yeah. Back in the box then. I'm gonna pull this one out. <laughs> oh yeah, going from another um, BB or Chibi to this now SDEX Gundam Aerial. Yeah, yeah the latest SD, uh, SDEX kit. Exactly. And guys, um, I know I basically badmouthed EX kits, but this is one of the only ones that's worth getting. <laughs> hmm. Because it, yeah, it yeah. doesn't have um, like as too much visible hollow. Yeah, ones. you can see on this picture, yeah. I know it might be a bit hard, but it doesn't, it's not empty at the back. Mm. A lot of them are just empty. Like they, hollow, yeah. It's a facade. Mm. <laughs> so they look good from like one angle from the front, but when you turn around, they look a bit... And just to remind you, you can mix your 
uh, weapons and your SD kits <laughs> with your Gundam if you really want to go nuts. Yeah, if you because want to you do that kind of kit bashing. Yeah, because yeah, you totally should. And let's check out the sticker sheet. So yeah. obviously not as impressive as the HG, yeah. but still pretty rad but look, nonetheless. I think, again, like I always say about the SD kits, if you want to get into painting, SDs are great. Yeah, it's a good way to practice. Yeah. They also make for great gifts for mm. somebody who's never built gun yeah, before. Yeah, and speaking about gifts, you know, uh, Christmas is around the corner. Jingle balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. No yeah. one sheets in Tokyo. <laughs> oh, Natas, you requested and we brought it in for you. And by the way, it's meant to be no one sleeps in Tokyo. I'm just trying to annoy <laughs> Natas. So guys, yes, we can bring these in, mm -hmm. uh, especially the Oshima stuff. And if it's anime themed, we can totally get our hands on it. Yeah. And um, I don't want to rifle in this box too much, but I do want to show you what to expect. This is not like a Gundam kit. Mm, There's nice. a lot more work that's required. You got clear parts, you got and interior. That's, that's the fun part of it, huh? Exactly. Mm. You got some chrome parts. Um, not as I'm trying not to spoil your kit experience here, <laughs> but you got chrome parts. You got um, a lot of great, great, great stuff happening here. And yeah, so Ooh. I hope you enjoy this kit. And obviously the decals are in there and I made sure everything is good yeah, for so you. As a reminder to the guys watching this video, so obviously we Gunpla, so we focus on Bandai and Gunpla, but yeah, if there's any certain special requests, like model kits or even figurines from Japan that you're looking for, or even tools, whatever, you can make a request. And, and we can, can make see, a plan. Yeah, you can see if our supplier can bring it in. Also, um, on the topic of unusual, mm. Shishibi, uh, yeah, she's, uh, sh uh, Shishibi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she, uh, yeah, she, she, she should be she should be here. She on. Yeah. yeah, which is very cool. I just finished watching this anime. <laughs> very cool character actually. Yeah. Um, and I know exactly who this is for. So again, um, it's from a request. So yeah, Lindsay, enjoy it. <laughs> well, apparently, uh, apparently there's no mystery for who it's for. <laughs> but yeah, it's... guys, I mean, we all know that Lindsay yeah. is probably the biggest Kyokai Senki fan on mm. the channel. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> but uh, uh, what about those? No, oh, no, okay. no, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. So, uh, what so else? We, is we're going to have to use a bit of more um, vert, like verticality. Yeah, because we've still got a few more boxes. Ooh, Ooh, back in stock. Orphans. Yeah, we got yeah. some more unblooded orphan stuff back in stock because we know you guys are fans. Mm. So I'm just going to pop that on top of the wing gun in there. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And yes. Another one back in stock. The unicorn! For those of, our, uh, those of you fans out there who haven't got, uh, yet got a unicorn yeah. Gundam, well, we got them for <laughs> you. And also, you can't, it's, it's sad if you have a unicorn without a Sinanji. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got to have like his buddy to fight with, you know? Exactly. Yeah. It's launch. So there it is. And, uh, cool. What else? What's over there? We okay, oh. talked about the okay. Sizabi. Yeah, oh, I see something there. That is, yeah, uh, I'm dying to talk <laughs> about this one thing. So guys, Mm -hmm. Just to let you know, you might have to get sharpen your knives and get your F5s ready because we've got one of these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This and time. Maybe the next time we'll get more. More, but yeah. this is the only one we got in stock. Hmm. Uh, apparently, these are very popular. Mm -hmm. Who knew? But uh, yeah, yeah, great, great, so, great. So, uh, maybe you can put it on top of a Master Great uh, Destiny. Oh, but, yeah, there's a Master Great Destiny. But, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm your boss. Okay, and guys, this is something I'm extremely oh. excited about. So Wing mm -hmm. is something I've been wanting to get since we started this business. And this is something I've been wanting to get for a very long time. And that's mm. the Black Tri-Star Zaku 2 High Mobility. And guys, you know me, I love a Zaku. And I love this version 2 frame. Mm -hmm. But what makes this different? Uh, I just want to see if there's a nice show way to show it. Yeah. So high mobilities have much bigger legs. Mm -hmm. They got all, all the extra thrusters, thrusters and, and stuff. Yeah. They've also got a very different backpack or mm -hmm. uh, rear backpack unit. Mm -hmm. And then for the most part, it's pretty much the same. Mm. However, if you are a fan of this anime, uh, and I know that a lot of us build Gundam without really being fans of the show, and that's totally fine. But if you are a fan of the anime, the Black Tri Stars are quite a notorious bunch mm. in the Gundam universe. And you get three of the pilots. You get all three pilots, yes. Obviously, it's not three guys piloting one Zaku. Yeah. Each of them have their own. Yeah, so it's Gaia, Mash, and Ortega that you get, 
And the fun fact here is this is a bit of a deep cut mm -hmm. because you never see them using the high mobility Zaku in mm. the anime. And you only ever see them use the DOMs. Spoiler yes. for a 30 year old anime. Yeah, is this like a base anime. from the manga or something? Yeah, this might actually just be side stories or from a video game yeah. or something like, like MSV. that. MSV. Yeah, MS, yeah. yeah, mobile suit variation. Mm. I am so glad that we have this. I'm also so glad that it's not P Bandai. Because mm. I absolutely love the black tri stars. And I mean, how can you say no to a, a Zaku that's got purple in its color scheme? <laughs> I mean, guys, for real, this is amazing. <laughs> Also, um, oh, and that's the other mm -hmm. thing I wanted to mention, sorry. It's got slightly different weapons. It's got the normal bazooka mm -hmm. and the hyper bazooka. Yeah, so you've got options, eh? Which is the Noise. precursor to the Dom's bazooka, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, or giant bears, should I say. I think that's what they call it. So I'm just gonna put that over there. And if you mm. wanna be really authentic, buy three of them. <laughs> As uh, Kiroro would say. And that's, oh, and then, yeah. ooh, guys. This breaks my heart. I'm just saying, when Jeff and I like say we love you at Gunplay Day, know that it's true, because we only got enough of these for pre-orders, and Jeff and I still want one of these. Mm -hmm. Missa. Missa. Messing us around. <laughs> Man, look at yeah. this chunky beast. So yeah, it's it's an HG kit, but look how deep the box is because it's one of those chunky and tall. Eh? It's it's a big. It's a big boy. Uh, high grade. It can like almost. Stand up to, to like an average uh, master grade. Yeah, this thing goes toe to toe with the These guys are like what, 23, 22 meters tall? Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, yeah I think it's 23 meters tall machine. This mm. actually goes up against um, the. Well, I don't want to spoil too much for an anime that hasn't come out yet. But there is a, 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 a veteran in the anime that uses one of these and fights against the Penelope. Hmm. Protects, so yeah, yeah. Isn't uh, the Mesa like. As tall as a Sazabi or even taller? Pretty much, yeah. So if you guys want to know what the Mesa is, it's development history. It is basically the... Um, what's the word? Not predecessor. Uh, anyway, basically, its forefather is the Girodoga and the Sasabi. Hmm. And so this is... <clears throat> so yeah, so that's where, where this comes from. And it's going to weird you out. This is not a Zionic suit. Hmm. Even though it looks like it, this is a, a Federation suit. Where well, isn't it? No, it's made. It's just made by Anaheim. Anaheim, yeah, but it's used by the, the Fetties. Is, is it for the Fetties? No. Yeah, the Fetties use these. Is it? Yeah. Because I watched Hathaway and. Yeah, the Fetties. Um, no. No, it was the, the terrorists. The Fetties use the Gustav Carls. Yeah. yeah. These are the terrorist units. Mm. So basically, yes, it is still basically a Cyclops unit. But look mm. at these parts, man. Sorry, guys, it's been a long week. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this chunk shield. It's so great. Nice. Whoever's getting this, just know that I've touched your kits quite a bit. <laughs> Yay, it's been touched by Gunpla, I say. Um, and then one little detail, I just want to get on, sorry, I, I know I'm like li lingering on this kit now, but I just mm. really, really love this design. And there's a lot to talk about. Look how beautiful those boosters are, look at that. I do feel the, the back thrusters are slightly small for its size, huh? Yeah, I get that, but it's also got them under its, yeah, um, yeah. in its ankles, yeah, yeah. so. Guys, ooh, I love the Mesa. It is so, so beautiful. Hmm. Such a great, uh, it's just such a great design. <laughs> it's so cool that we finally cool. got it. Next. And bringing joy to all, like Santa Claus. Got hey. Some, hey, yeah. Talking about great kits in an anime. Ground Gundam. Ground, uh, 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 Gundam ground type. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> there we go. Teamwork makes a dream work. <laughs> Guys, this is the cool one that comes with the really rad backpack mm -hmm. where you can assemble the heavy You can put your heavy school books in the textbooks and all of that. Yes, yeah. yeah, you can put it, yeah, it's ready, a Ransuru. Ready, ready for school. Yeah, <laughs> Ransuru. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna have to sneak that over there, trying to keep it. Oh, and I know all of you 30 minute uh, mm -hmm. hardcore. I feel like we need to give you guys like a cool name. Yeah. A 30 minute. Mission <laughs> Force or something <laughs> much cooler than that. Anyway, but check here, we got Egg Boy! Yay! There was the Armored, Armored Assault, Assault Testicle. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look at this. It's actually. Yeah, it's, it's super cute. I, I, like, I mentioned like months before when it was announced that I was like, oh, looks like a pot boy. Yes! Yeah. That's what it looks like. Pot, Every time I see it, I always no, think no, of. A jar um, warrior. That's yeah, well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, we call them pot boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. This is like so Elden Ring. <laughs> and I, I want to see somebody go like Grimdark on one of these. I think mm. it looks so good. So I'm just going to pop that on top of there. Hey, mm -hmm. I am your boss now. Um, What's this one? Oh, Kyoka Senki stuff. Right? Yep. 
Is that Noren? Noren! Yeah. Sweet! Yeah, so uh, this shipment, we've got lots of uh, Kyokasenkis back in stock. We'll probably, we'll probably won't demand. go through all of them, but uh, we'll, we'll go through a few, yeah. But yeah, we've got a lot of them back. Guys, I know we have a lot of like a Gundam stuff, but we also have like a 30 minute mission stuff. <laughs> Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> so, um, yeah. RX, uh, uh, RX Zero Unicorn Gundam HGs because mm -hmm. there are still some of you who want this kit. Well, it's, you know... It's a classic. Yeah, look, there's always going to be new customers joining the, the family. And yeah, you know, Unicorn's just very popular. And it's Unicorn, man. It's cool. Mm. Okay, I'm going to do these in like an explosive fashion. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, like flip around Edward like the second. SDs. <laughs> this is cool though. Benjamin V2. Uh -huh. So Bloodborne Gundam. <laughs> um, Caesar Gundam with a cool shiny dragon. Mm -hmm. Uh, GPO4, I think it's Leaf? Yeah. No, yes? Leaf? Yeah, Leaf. Leaf? Leaf? Yeah. Leaf? No, this is the Bloodborne Gundam. <laughs> yeah, Bloodborne Gundam. Mm -hmm. Look at that, man. Look at that. Yarnum, Gundam's coming. Okay, and uh, another one of the same yeah, one. Caesar. Yeah, yeah, but yeah Caesar. there's duplicates and yeah, yeah. Oh, there's wait, so wait, many. And the uh, oh, Osen. Is this Osen? Yeah. yeah. But yeah With these cool hats. Yeah, I've again, let's hat. not uh, dwell too much dwell on too much on that. There's a lot of them that came back in stock, basically. And I just want to see Sum if... Oh, Jeff did pull it out. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, keeping the uh, Kyokai Senki momentum, uh, probably one of the most unusual designs, something mm -hmm. I wasn't sure was going to be popular, and it's actually one of the things that sold out the fastest, hmm. is the Banya uh, Boomerang. Boomerang. Yeah, it's a very unique uh, mecha design, yeah. Do you want to just quickly show the side of it? Yeah, because the box so art doesn't really show. It's so sad that we don't well, see yeah. this enough in the anime. It's mm. one of the most unique and um, sort yeah, of distinguishing well, designs. Because yeah, these guys are kind of like the cannon fodders, you know. So. Yeah, but still, we should have seen more. I think they're so cool. Mm. Yeah, the design's really, really cool. Very. I mean, the, when they when they fully extend their legs, they're really tall. Eh? It's yeah, exactly. It's creepy. It's like um, mm. for, like the, if you guys are Metal Gear fans, when the mm. Metal Gear extends its legs, can actually stand pretty mm -hmm. tall as well. Oh, a new one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the what's it? Zhao uh, uh, Yun. Is it Zhao? Zhao uh, Yun. Zhao. Double O Gundam there we go. Command Zhao. Package. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Zhao. Yeah. Zhao Yun. See, I'm learning. <laughs> See, that's how we learn. But yeah, it's it's a kind of a busy box art. But if we look at the side. It's basically got the double O Gundam <laughs> plus the what's it command package? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a lot. Of this is actually yeah. a lot of. I want to open this up quickly yeah, if you don't mind. Like, if you want to quickly check the the other SD kits, the other SD kits is all like kind of this box format, and this is a first. I think this is one of the first time where the SDW Heroes kit go for like a wide format. Yeah. Lots of mm. juice in this box. Yeah, I think I think this is the first um, wide SDW box we've seen. Yeah. We've seen wide SD boxes though. Mm. But, but not, not in the SDW Heroes line. Yeah. And guys, mm. <laughs> oh. I'm going to spoil this one um, in a little way. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, uh, yeah, if this beats you, it'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Well, the Lanza. Yeah, from? Uh, yeah. uh, 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 which from, from Venus? No. <laughs> Wanna see Snitch that? Snitch from Uranus? <laughs> no. We're gonna Come get on, man, it's on the tip of my we, tongue. We're gonna get like family rated now. Yeah. <laughs> well, not family, like, uh, what's it? Yeah. No, we <laughs> won't. We won't. <laughs> we won't ask for yeah, very this is quickly. from the new uh, Gundam series, Witch from Mercury. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This one looks so It's extra, from Saturn. Eh? And, uh, yeah, Let's guys. Take a quick look around, yeah. I want to just comment on this. Yeah, look, look. Mursa the the colors is so vibrant. Yeah, like check out this thing. Mm. And then we've got yeah, um, that, that, that pink, oof, and that uh, what you call that turquoise, turquoise that yeah. dark turquoise, dark mm. teal kind of color looking neck. This is nice. Ooh, look at that purple. Mm. Very much sexy. And that's nice to see the the sticker sheet is such a small thing, so that that means there's not much color correcting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And I'm gonna be sneaky quickly because mm -hmm. I wanna because this is gonna relate to something that we're gonna talk about a little bit later, mm -hmm. or that you're going to that you may have seen the video of already. Um, I'm gonna put that there so I don't wanna crush pieces. I just wanna go into the paint guide. So that purple part is wine red, light blue, clear red, and clear blue small dose. Right? Mm -hmm. So wine red, that's an unusual color, mm -hmm. right? Well, um, the good news is, is that it's a Mr. Hobby color. Oh. 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 So, hmm. yeah, so maybe, you know, so maybe okay. you've already watched our other video. <laughs> so yeah, for, yeah, uh, people that's watching this video, it's gonna have it in the title as part one. Yes. Um, 
Hmm. What's going to be part two video? I one wonder. <laughs> Delonza is somewhere. I'm going to put these little bad boys over here. Yeah, you the can. Here, yeah, the Londa center stage. Yeah, he, yeah. He's, he's like a new. He's, entry, a, new, you know? he's a new kid on the block. Yeah. Uh, 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 cool. Oh, HG New yeah, Gundam. New Gundam with the Sazabi. Yay. Yay! Friends. Nice to have this in stock. <laughs> Good version of the. Um, uh, the unfortunately, new... the RG and the uh, Master Grave version car of the New Gundam didn't come back in stock. But no, sadly. Yeah. But uh, when it comes, it'll come. It'll come. Yeah. Um, did I. Oh. But here's a cool RG that we did get back in stock, mm -hmm. the Destiny. Destiny, so maybe you guys hey. don't have to kill each other for <laughs> so, the HG kit. So now we've got the trilogy now, we've got the <laughs> uh, HG, the RG and the MG, yeah. Wow, our collection is complete. <laughs> but funny wow. enough, the, the HG is the latest, but it, I think, yeah, Master Grade is the first uh, one. Yes. And, and then in real grade and then the HG, yeah. Of the, what we've got yeah. here, yeah, because obviously they did an HG yeah. when it came there, there out. There was like a really old HG, but yeah. yeah, that's kind of been phased up by the new HG, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. But guys, the new HG is really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, in the, Let's keep it in the Seed universe with mm -hmm. Infinite Justice hey. coming back at us. Um, this continues to surprise me with how popular it is. Mm -hmm. I've been watching one of the dudes in the build force, you know who you are, building <laughs> One of these guys up and yeah, wow, striking, striking kit. Lots of cool details and things going mm -hmm. there, but I don't want to get too stuck in that. I'm gonna plant you over there. Um, yeah, a testicle, a 30, <laughs> minute, 30 minute testicle can go over there. Oh, 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 oh. What's oh. this? What's this? Guys, so we've had like a really, so far this episode's been so full of like great grunt suits. Mm -hmm. um, so let's add another really great grunt suit to the list. One of the coolest Master Grade Grunt suits you'll oh, get. I I know, I know, oh, I know, I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, I can see it. Oh, hey, oh, Jester. MG Jester. This is like one of those Master Grades that you just got to build at some point. Yeah, yeah. layers upon layers. Because generally people who build uh, Gundam model kits, they like their Grunt designs. And this is probably the sexiest Grunt um, from the ESF. Oh yeah, EFSF. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Federation it's, Sport. Uh, and uh, dude, yeah, guys, mm. we know how many of you guys love the Jester HG, and we're so lucky to have the Master Grade back in stock. Mm. So, so good. It's, it's all this simple design, but it's just so well executed. Uh, I don't know. I built two of these things, uh, and just love we it. Still build another one. <laughs> um, and yeah, we've got a bit of uh, one more hey. MG that I want to talk about. Here is the RX-78 version, version 2.0. 2. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's a, I would say it's like a modern classic. Yeah. Yes. It's more than 10 years old, but still it lives up very well. So yeah, so the internals of this are actually, a lot of the internals in this actually carried over to the version 3. Yeah, um, so the, the, the 2.0, you can see it's got a more anime accurate design. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as, um, Heavy on the Panel surface lighting. detail. Yeah. yeah, it's it's the proportions and the um, aesthetic is very anime accurate. And the 3.0, the 3.0 is based on the um, real statue. Yeah, 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 and the and the statue at yeah. all the original Gundam mm -hmm. one to one statue. Guys, yeah, this is if you want a cleaner aesthetic. There's lots of reasons you would want to go for the anime mm -hmm. look. For me. Uh, I love it. I Ooh. just think it's, I love the clean look, the clean, fresh anime look. A lot of guys like to actually do a cell shaded design on this specific master Ooh. grade. Um, and the posability supports that as well, which yeah. is cool. And the inner frame is also great. Huh? So good. You don't see it, but uh, yeah, trust me. When I would you build... say, yeah, hmm. I would say this inner frame is very much on par with the Zaku. Hmm. Uh, yeah. The Zaku is a little bit better, but it's because the Zaku needs to do more than hmm. the RX-78 for posability. Ooh. Oh! So new, one like, you know, nudgeon. Yeah, one nudgeon. Two, two, two nudgeon. nudgeon. And where's the prototype? Not a nudgeon. Uh, not, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, three yeah, All back in stock. Yeah. Yeah. Ichi neat son. Oh man, I, I love, I, like, for those people that know, like, I'm building the prototype, this one at the moment, and build streams. And yeah, these two, these other two actually came out before it. So that's the classic tank merchant. And there's the gray version. The gray version has a different, uh, like, gun. Gun. And also has an axe. Yeah, yes. There. Yeah. It's kind of tactical. So they all have different arm arms. I think he's got, like, oh. almost, yeah. He's got, he's like, got like assault and rifles. And yeah, yeah, he's yeah. cool. He's so yeah. cute, man. And uh, the, the prototype's prototype got, like, a rail like gun. A rail gun that's also, <laughs> like, a paintball gun that they And also that little uh, bullpup. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it was very yeah. cool. 
And I love the orange shoulder so much. Yeah, the, the, uh, the prototype has some other like differences besides just the weapons. Yeah. I keep saying Metal Gear, but I mean to say Yoshi Shinkawa, but Metal Gear is more <laughs> relatable. Hmm. Um, and then, guys, I'm so happy to see this. And a little bit of a backstory with this, and I'll be quick. When we brought this in, uh, we brought in like one. Because mm, we weren't so sure we're testing the water. Yeah, and like, yeah, anyway, we had, there were a few behind the scenes discussions <laughs> about this. And this thing sat. Mm. And it sat. And I was like just about to buy it. Mm. And then it went. And I'm of course talking about the Amai, uh, Amaim Ghost. Mm -hmm. Or from Amaim. Kyokai the Amaim Ghost. From yeah. Kyokai Senki. And uh, yeah, guys. Uh, probably like for me, next to the Reiki, is probably the, the second best looking kit mm. or on, on par with. It's a very the, unique looking kit. Uh, shall we split yeah, look, spin? Yeah. So, yeah. so good. So it's got an um, asymmetrical design. Uh, on the upper body, so it has two different type of arms. Mm -hmm. Really weird, but it's supposed to give off that um, creepy, unstable. Yeah. Like in the story, I hope it's not too much of a spoiler, but it's building itself basically. It's, yeah, it takes other um, robots parts. It's creepy. Yeah, yeah. it's creepy. well, that's why it's called a ghost. Huh? It's like a <laughs> robot vampire. Yeah, yeah. and um, and yeah, uh, well, we've got another box, but I don't think we need to take out anything. Yeah, we don't need to really take yeah. anything it's here. It's more of the SDs and the entry grades coming back and but stuff. But it is worth that. saying that we got uh, what uh, Jiangchi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Back in, this is super spiky boy. Mm -hmm. You can see there. It's very difficult <laughs> to to actually film or take photographs of this because it's just a lot. It's very extra. Yeah, very busy, very busy. But uh, yeah, goody. Um, so we got these back in stock because I know a few of you guys wanted them and yeah. we're sad that you missed out. And then um, oh, and this as well. Actually, I don't. I think this was so blink and you missed it last time. Mm -hmm. The Aegis. This, yeah, the Warlock Aegis. And look at this. The yeah. actual name very, is very intimidating. They've Sa changed, they changed it, but it's Saint, it used to be called Satan Gundam. Yeah. So yeah. great. <laughs> and then, yeah, just uh, to finish off, look, there's also the Kenbu. So we oh, haven't yeah, forgotten yeah, about you. Yeah. Wait, I'm sure I had a Kenbu <laughs> in my hand earlier. Ah, but but yeah, look, we, we've got too many model kits in all these seven, well, it's six big boxes, and then we've got the action base back in stock as well. Du -du 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 -du. So, so yeah, yeah we've got a lot of uh, yeah. really uh, great kits. The essential tools and the markers. Yeah, a lot. Oh, oh, what's that? What? <gasps> Decals. decals. Guys, we got decals. Like, we're not going to go through every single one. We're but not, we got, but I just like, want to let you know. We've got yeah. uh, decals for the Nightingale. So, yes. Screech, that's one for you, I'm sure. <laughs> we got Iron Blooded Orphan decals for mm -hmm. you IBO fans. And there's a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. It's not just like for one specific unit. Yeah. Uh, we got real grade RX 78 stuff. Mm -hmm. And, guys, well, you might not have a real grade RX 78, um, but these decals are really great for multi purpose things. You mm -hmm. can use them on so many gun yeah, kits. A lot of them like, comes with caution markings and stuff, and you can yeah. use them on other kits. And right? real grades just have the best caution markings, well, mm -hmm. some of the best, because thank you, because they it's a kind of a trickle down from Kotoki Hajmi. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Seed for the Seed fans, um, Alex for mm -hmm. the two of you that bought Alex. Um, but it's actually no, guys. I'm joking. It's actually it's um, not just the Alex. It's also the thoroughbred. Yeah. So it's a bunch of like it's mixed. It's mostly the double eighty stuff. I think it's the ES if uh, well, I always can't say it. E S E F right? E F yeah. S F um, Earth Federation yeah. <laughs> Space Force. <laughs> right. uh, look, Friday, it's Friday. Like my my brain's fight. But the cool <laughs> thing is, yeah. So you've got and, and the last thing is it's also two scales. It's um, one to one hundred one, and one yeah. one four four. One yeah. four four as well. So yeah. just be mindful of Mix that, guys, up. when you do buy decals. It's not. It doesn't make a huge difference. Yeah, but look, at the end of the day, it it's freedom. It's it's up whatever exactly. you want to do it. But 0083, mm -hmm. very nice for those of you who've got a GPO one and GPO two, mm -hmm. and there's some decals here for the Kempfer yeah. as well. Yeah. So for, guys, for the Zion side. Oh, you know that Kempfer is so sne uh, sneaky. Yes, Kemp. Well, where's we Kempfer? Kempfer in, I saw. Like I saw it earlier. Yes. I saw I'm it. sure I saw one earlier. There you go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, back in stock. Hey, special <laughs> ops sneaking in oh, here. Oh, man. Doing so, some yeah. damage. Consider, team. consider getting the, the uh, decal pack with it as well. Yes, mm. and also LED unit. Yeah. Yay! We only bought them in uh, based on requests. Yeah, these yeah. are by request only. We don't yeah. keep those on here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just because. Why? Okay. <laughs> okay. And then. Yeah, so with all these restock, um, it's because we're prepping, not just for December, you know, the Christmas uh, holiday festive season, but there's a big event coming back in December. What is that for? Rage. Rage. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the, the softest 
rage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's, the, that's how I'm playing it. The rage, rage the it's really, rage. really awesome gaming expo is coming back. You know, um, yeah. So oh, yeah, that's what it stands that. for, hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really yeah. awesome gaming expo. Yeah. <laughs> or very hot convention center <laughs> full of cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so those who's going, we're really excited to meet you. Of course. And yeah, shall we wrap up uh, this week? Like, okay, before we finish off, again, let's do our usual. I have our favorite picks. Three. Which are three your favorite, favorite three? picks? Yeah. Uh, Black TriStar Zaku, or uh, Trinity, Black Trinity Zaku is what mm -hmm. they call it now. Black TriStar Zaku, Wing Zero, Verke. And um, it's a tie for me between the Jester and the RX78 version 2. But I'm so happy to have this in stock, and I'm also so happy to have this okay, in. Okay, you're picking that one. I'll take the RX-78, <laughs> because okay. I'm older. <laughs> then, uh, you got it? Yes, Okay, Jeff. so for me, I'll go for Jester. Yes, definitely that. Uh, then, let's see. The RG Sazavi, definitely. Oh, hell yeah. And, uh, oh, I want to pick something. Oh, I'll just pick one with Nutchin. Time. I think, didn't I choose a Nutchin last time? I think you did choose a Nutchin last I can't time. Choose that thing, huh? You can't. Yeah. Come, be um, original. Okay. Ooh, yes. Ground type. Schoolboy Gundam. Yeah, schoolboy. So, yeah, those are my three picks. And uh, again, guys, we're going really fast with this one because we're actually shooting another video straight after this. So, check it out. This mm -hmm. um, part two video won't be plastic. But uh, we'll do a cut and you'll see it. That's cool. Yeah. And then before we get to that, mm -hmm. I just want to remind yes. you that yeah. no one sleeps okay. at all. So, oh, you want to you wanna use that to smash yes. against the box? Okay, right. So until next video, keep building joy. <laughs> <laughs> Doing your drifting.